I carried out the research on the status of the giant tiger prawn in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. I discovered that this species is in abundance and it grows all year round. Though it's an alien species, exotic, but it's an opportunity that can be harnessed to improve the livelihood of fishers and the well-being of the community. In the past 10 years, RUFORUM has trained well over 2,000 African postgraduate scientists, mobilized more than $60 million in resources, and developed more than 300 technologies that have reached more than a million farmers. My study is on genetic improvement of selected sorghum mines for dual purpose use, specifically food and feed. We're hoping that if we generate these lines, small scale farmers will be able to make silage to feed their animals. Because where I come from, we only have rain for four to five months in a year. So the rest of the, the year is dry and farmers run out of food. But on the other hand, commercial farmers have feed all the time and we discovered that they make silage which they're able to store over a long period of time. So we hope that with materials such as this, farmers will be able to make silage and keep it over a longer period of time so that the animals don't run out of food. And the topic of my study have metal distribution in soils in urban and peri-urban agriculture in Botswana. So from my investigation I've realized that uh, the potential toxic metals in urban and peri-urban agriculture are accumulating due to the fact that uh, those farmers that are irrigating with treated waste water and are also using high input such as fertilizers, pesticides, therefore there's that accumulation. The accumulation, it, it has a long-term hazardous effect even to women health. We were trying to look at the prevalence of brucellosis in livestock and also the risk factors that are associated with the disease in this livestock. And we found that most of the people there are practicing uh, issues that can lead to the transmission of the disease between animals and also from animals to humans. But so far, we are looking at the educational uh, skills and dispensation that needs to be taken to those people and be educated on how to reduce the spread of the disease, both between the livestock population and also to humans. Well, I would say so much thank you to the forum. No, it has changed me because I've developed me and even my, my, my capacity of thinking it has improved a lot and I'm looking forward to a, a much improved life in general. I'm grateful to the forum for the support um, on my own individual basis for the capacity of building that I'm going to have and also the ability just to contribute to my country after I gain my degree and it's not easy to get financing for a PhD in Africa, but I was privileged to get one under a requirement. I'm so grateful.